for us, it's going to be a challenge. Stephen Greenlee is with California ISO, an independent operator of the state's high voltage grid. He says the organization, which supplies power wholesale to utility companies, has been preparing for the upcoming partial eclipse for some time now. It's going to be a busy day behind the scenes. He anticipates ISO will lose 6,000 megawatts of power during the eclipse and have to generate that loss. One megawatt will power about 1,000 homes. So we're talking 6,000 megawatts. It's about 600,000 homes. So should people be concerned about losing power? They shouldn't see, see any, any difference. It's engineers and grid operators who will be watching and working to keep the power flowing. As the eclipse is occurring and the solar energy that is being produced by our solar plants is going down, we have to then bring up other generation plants in order to make up that lost generation. Local utility SMUD says it will be dealing with the same issue on a smaller scale. We've gone through some processes to make sure we have plenty of uh, electricity on tap to feed that demand. One benefit, the eclipse is predicted to hit our region mid-morning. And if this was like a 5 p.m., 4.30, 5, 6, as air conditioners are really ramping up, uh, then it would be a bigger issue. Worst case scenario, extremely high temperatures putting more pressure on the system with air conditioning use or smog, particles in the air keeping the sun from shining back down after the eclipse. If that is the case and we do get it into a uh, place where we have to, we will call a flex alert uh, and ask people to help us conserve.